As we near the one year mark of Hurricane Maria, people on the island of Puerto Rico continue to recover. We were there in December to share their stories. Yesterday, News 6's Vanessa Ariza and photojournalist Kellen Harrell traveled back to the island to find out how life is now. She joins us live from the town of Nawabo. And Vanessa, you have been able to travel around the island. What are you seeing there? Well, Lisa, we landed around 9 o'clock yesterday morning, and since then we have hit the ground running, trying to visit as many cities as possible. Yesterday we were able to visit some of the cities outside of San Juan. They include Carolina and Rio Grande, as well as Nawabo, where we're at here. Where we're at right now, this is the city center. It's a small little town. You can see some of the businesses are open. This pizza shop right here where we've actually been working out of for our pieces today. But right next door you have places that remain closed in this area. We have been seeing that uh, even in San Juan, old San Juan, some businesses still closed. Now, when we talked to the locals, they said, you know what, we're still working to repair, but things are getting better. And we are seeing people who are moving back to the island. We actually caught up with one young man who left the island eight months ago so he could finish high school in Central Florida. Hours later, he made sure to come back home. This is home for Felipe El Moldovar. This basketball court, about five minutes from his Rio Grande home, is filled with a mix of memories. The good, playing pickup basketball games, to the reality of what Mother Nature can do. The storm devastated this court and everything around it. It was a little bit scary, to be honest. This is video of what Hurricane Maria brought to his neighborhood. Water flooding homes and streets. He made the decision to move to Central Florida to finish out his senior year of high school. The hardest part was to realize that I am doing that without my parents, you know, that I am graduated from uh, high school for a senior year and doing it by myself without my parents. That was the hardest part to realize that I was alone. His parents made a surprise visit at graduation without hesitation. He was on a plane in a matter of 48 hours back home. I was a happy man, you know, see my house with flight, you know, with power, with water, um, see the beauties, see the, the trees, green, you know, everything was green. The one thing he wants people to know about his island, they will be okay. It's getting better and better every single day. And his spirit was contagious. He actually is going to head back to Daytona Beach in the fall. He's going to start as a freshman freshman at Embry-Riddle. He said he wants to become a pilot and permitting however life takes him. He says that he wants to plant roots in Puerto Rico. He says this is his home. This is where he wants to be. Now, you heard him in the piece say when he came back after graduation, he saw how green it was. It's because Hurricane Maria, like if you've seen all those videos, it stripped trees like this. They had no leaves. They were brown. They were bare. And he said it was so good to come back home and to see that flowers were blooming again. And even our Uber driver who's been so good to us today he said you know I know it sounds silly and you know the the earth was destroyed the land was destroyed and our hearts broke broke because of that because this is our island this is our land and we saw the devastation that mother nature can do so mm. a lot of positive attitudes here guys and they are rebuilding and in December they were positive even more so now that is great news mm -hmm. Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us from Puerto Rico thank you